I'm used to like veggie burgers or like the fake meat, and I think they do a pretty good job at like replicating it. But the real thing is the real thing, you know. Hi y'all. So y'all know every day is a brand new adventure, and I just found out that Drea has never had In and Out Burger, bro. An uh, In and Out Burger. Why did I say it like that? I don't know why you said it like that, but I have not had an In-N-Out burger. I've had the grilled cheese. But, but a burger is like why you go to In-N-Out, bro. I hadn't ate red meat since like a f***ing child, so. Well, so I brought her to In-N-Out and we're going to see and hopefully we're, we're going to see your reaction. Because like In-N-Out is something I grew up on. Like I would eat this maybe once a week. Like this would be my everything highlight. I'd be like, mom, can we go to In-N-Out? And then I'd be so I'd be the happiest kid. But we're going to go in and see really what the vibe can is. You can say one more thing. Also, I'm not um, I'm not a transplant. I grew up here as well. In and out is like the staple. So I understand how serious this is, but I just stopped eating meat young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being from LA, I don't know why some people be thinking I'm from like Michigan or like Wisconsin. I'm like, bro, no. So the Hollywood In and Out is actually like the craziest place to be at any given point of the day. Cause the line is always maybe like 45 minutes to an hour long. It could be 1 a.m. It could be 10 a.m. It's the exact same thing, bro. Bro, I feel like we're at a party in Hollywood, and it's just musty, and so many people are in here. We're definitely we're definitely at the best Hollywood party on a Saturday night. I've never had a burger. I've never had an In-N-Out burger. I've always came in, ordered a grilled cheese. My typical order was always a grilled cheese, no onion, chopped chilies, extra pickles. But things have changed. I'm now eating beef. Which I hadn't done since I I'm really so glad remember. you converted to I, the bright I have, side. I don't know. I mean, the thing is that with me going to the gym and everything, there's like a long list of reasons as to why I'm eating meat again. Um, it's kind of been good to me and my body right now. I will probably cut it out eventually, but in the meantime, since it is part of my diet, I'm trying all the things that I have not tried it's literally since I could remember. So, you want to tell them what, what we ordered today? Well, what you ordered for me? Yeah, it's so funny because she's doing a vlog right here. I'm doing a vlog so y'all can see hers too. And I'm doing a vlog over here. We got, we got so many cameras set up. Y'all know what it is. So I got us a cheeseburger, animal style. So they cook it with mustard. I know you're a big mustard fan. I love mustard. I, I kind of know your flavor palettes now. So that's why I got that with pickles and then chopped chilies. And then I toasted the bun extra because sometimes it gets like mm, a little soggy. Real. Just so it's still real. hard. And then these fries got grilled onions on them. Y'all can see. Like he got me into, crazy. into grilled onions. I actually used to hate onions, but I don't know. He's kind of changing me. Here, look, look, Wait, look. but we need spread. Oh. You want a spread for what? For the fries? Yeah, I got you. Also, he did something that I think is super iconic, which was he put the chopped chili juice, like these little banana peppers. He opened them and put the juice into this ketchup thing mm -hmm. and then put the ketchup in here. Like, I love stuff like that. You get me. I'm gonna go get the. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. With these changes, I would really just like to say that it's okay to change up your identity. I feel like for so long I was stuck on like certain aspects of myself and I'm finally like taking a step out of it and deciding that you really can switch it up. And you don't have to stay stuck on one thing, you know? Like I'm not any less myself just cause I'm eating the the beef again you know but i just want to say thank you to the cow that had to take this yeah guess 27 okay, please. i've had in and out but i've never ate a burger guess 28, please. i would always eat like grilled cheeses what, what are you from here? yeah i'm from here no because i didn't because i never bro. um I stopped eating beef like a really, really okay. long time ago, but I just reintroduced it into my life. So I haven't, I haven't taken my first bite yet. We're about to see. Oh, it's about to go down. Yeah, it's yeah. about to go down right now, live and in action. <laughs> All right, shall we do it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh my God. Take this bite. Guess twenty nine, please. Guess twenty nine, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? That's delicious. Honestly, you did it up. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. See, and I, I now that I know your flavors, I'm like, mm-hmm. this is what we gotta get, type beat. This is really good. Honestly, it is. I'm used oh, to yeah. like veggie burgers or like the fake meat, and I think they do a pretty good job at like replicating it. But the real thing is the real thing, you know. With the grilled, on- yeah, you did it up with the onions too. I never thought I'd like onions. I think the onions on this fries are what's doing it for me. Today I learned that onions low key have a lot of calories. Yes, thirty-two, Not like, please. We're not gonna go over, but grilled onions because you gotta do like the oil or the butter. You feel? Mmm. Okay. Yes, 33, please. I've been learning so much about calories and what food has inside of it. Yeah. I never thought I'd be paying attention to stuff like this, but... A lot of food is it's terrible It's been good to me. A lot of food is so bad. I needed this. Mm-hmm. Drake the type to say. We just came from yes, the gym, so I'm dying. Please. This and straight to sleep, not gonna lie. <laughs> you have the perfect in and out order. Mm-hmm. You do. You really do. You were the person that could make me convert. Ooh, hey, some, I love drama, bro. Some people were just fighting in the in and out parking lot. I'm enjoying so my time. So, what do you think? Me too. What do you think the next, like, meat place I have to try is? We gotta go get you like some steak. We gotta go to a steakhouse. Whoa! I've never had steak at a steakhouse. I've always only ever gotten the side, the inside of In and Out. I had to go like hide in a corner because it is so Seven. packed, like. Guess 37, please. It's Guess a Saturday. Bruh. <laughs> it's a Saturday night. I don't know what else I expected, but like this in and out. Guess 38, please. It's just always the most packed out of any. Like they all get packed, but this is like insane. What I think is crazy is that I've heard a lot of people who come from out of town, they don't like it. Right. I'm like, I've why? Seen, I've seen a lot of people who are like, ah, I don't please. see the hype. But I feel like this is a very fresh burger. Like, it feels real, you know? Like, you ever had Whataburger? No. I've seen discussion and people are like, oh, Whataburger is better, this and that. And mm-hmm. I, oof, that was a good water sip. I had it. You on that. And that feels like, it feels like fast food McDonald's ass burger. Like, this is the only burger I've had that really feels fresh that's not from a restaurant, you know? Absolutely. This is really the freshest fast food. Honestly. 37 and 38, please. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm done. So I don't know if you guys have seen the thing with The Rock, but apparently he's like a fake spokesman. He's like a fake robot human. And he's been making these videos. They, It's been like three videos where he's like, hey, guys, this is my first time trying in and out yada, yada, yada. Let's go get it. But he makes these this video like every couple years. So it's like, bro, is it Guess like... Guess 44. Well done, fry only, please. Guess 35, please. I'm like, if nobody takes that order, I'm going to take it. But why would you lie about things like this? So right now, it's kind of crazy. It's a lot of noise going on. But we should get back into the car and react to that right now. Yeah, you're right. Let's let's discuss Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I promise I'm not doing that. This was really my very first burger. <laughs> yeah. So the in and out has been a, it's the next day. I had to go straight to sleep after that meal. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. Honestly, like I could go again today. Today? I could, I could run it back. I'm down for a later excursion, not gonna lie. Whoa, I didn't think this would maybe be in the cards. We'll see though, we'll see. <laughs> after we'll the Tizo touchdown show. That could be a vibe, that I'm could done. be a vibe. I'm down, I'm down, okay. I'm down. Okay, I'm All right, well, we're gonna react now to this thing that I guess, we were just talking about in and out that The Rock, keeps lying about trying in and out for the first time but i don't know like why bro would do that like he keeps posting he's like yo this is my first time trying in and out but it's not his first time trying in and out because he keeps posting that why do you think that is maybe that's like gotten him a lot of engagement in the past like but like, it's okay, like what if bro. this goes viral and then i just keep like saying that's my first time and we just remake the same video 10 times like, like, <laughs> like that might be it or so what if- so we're gonna react to this video right now that i have of basically the rock saying it's his first time look so let's run it can't stop lying about this one thing but it's not what celebrities f- rock can't stop lying about this one thing but it's not what you think the rock recently shared it was his first time eating at popular food chain in and out which is shocking considering he's known to be the king of cheat meals he once bragged about his dessert where he had brownies blondies peanut butter chocolate chip and double chocolate chip cookies with a fat okay. slice of cheesecake Sheesh. recently he posted a video where he went to in and out and ordered three burgers and seven orders of fries where he wrote yeah. in the caption my first ever in and out experience however tmz said the rock previously claimed he went to in and out for the first time in august of 2022 where he also 
posted an Instagram saying my first time ever eating in and out. So why would he post it twice? He did it once in 2024 and once in 2022 saying he ate in and out for the first time. But it's like, bro, why are you like, what is the bag like that they're giving you? What kind of money is this? Like, why does this even need to be a thing, bro? What did he genuinely forgot? That. Bro, there's no way you're gonna forget, bro. Like I've had like Whataburger once, right? And I remember like oh I had it, bro. I had I Waffle don't House. I don't, I'm not gonna forget that. I wonder. I really do wonder, like, what the whole lore behind this is. Like, maybe he knows that. Okay, okay, but also let's backtrack a little bit. Why? I I get that this is TMZ's job, but why are they so invested? Like, if I saw a celebrity post like this, is my first time having it, and I'd be uh -huh. like, all right, like. Who really digs into that's like, their jobs this, though, bro? But that's crazy. Like, who thought about like what if he's lying? Like, who thinks about that? Well, but, like maybe they would like follow the ride, but he got like hundreds of millions of followers, probably. You know, and they're like, oh, like his first time funny. Then he posted again like five years later. You're gonna be like, wait, <laughs> he said this a couple years, 2017 oh my and God. whatever, 2022. Like, bro goes further he claimed he visited in and out for the first time all the way back in 2017 where he posted a selfie in the drive-thru weird what's funny is in the weird. recent video of him yeah. going it's all about the employees reactions to him pulling up not at all about how it's his first time going like he said in the caption is he just forgetting or lying for some odd reason what would that reason be let us know in the comments i feel like he's lying he's lying and i think it's for attention <laughs> i feel like this was a liar but it's like you're the rock you have the most attention in the world bro Hey, sometimes when you get to those levels of fame, I feel like like nothing is enough anymore, and you just have to keep and keep and keep getting like more and more attention. I don't know. So you liked In and Out? Yeah, I mean, I've liked In and Out before, but like, definitely, like people would always be like, getting a grilled cheese isn't the same. It's and not. I'm, it wasn't. Well, look. Can, it can you wasn't, tell me that it wasn't? Okay, it wasn't the same, but like, if one day cows were banned from being eight, like. I will be fine with no. Like, I wouldn't. I need. I'll be fine. I it's really be not. Okay. Like it was a great burger, but could I live? Absolutely. Like I will live with the grilled cheese. I've never had the grilled cheese, but it's like it's just giving yourself a lackluster experience. No, you can't say. Okay, how about this? How about this? Okay, maybe not this time, but one of these days, can you just have a grilled? Maybe cheese? Maybe one day. Maybe one day, but we'll see. Okay. All right. See. Well, thank you guys for the journey. We got yeah. a Tizo touchdown concert tonight, so I'm gonna vlog. Get that up tomorrow. Get this up today. Yeah, I know. Got to get this up. So, yeah. <sighs> Overall, last thing I got to say is... The Rock's a liar. The Rock's a liar. Bye.